strutting big bucks on rutting a family adventure that's right when the sun starts setting you better be a betting we'll be headed to the old fish fry well a frogging and a strutting and a ducking and a bucking a family adventure that's right tp outdoors yeah pay it forward y'all TP Outdoors Adventures, brought to you by Ryan Chevrolet, Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental, and these great sponsors. Closed captioning provided by Catfish Charlie's and Catfish Charlie's North. Real fresh. Hi right, guys, welcome to this week's TP Outdoors Adventures. Well, last week we were in uh, Colorado doing a little elk hunting, so we moved down one state. We're in New Mexico now. Uh, it's the first morning. We just spotted three bulls and four or five cows going to this little block of woods right here. So we're fixing like a circle around. We got the wind right. Go see if we can't call them up and get something to happen this morning. We had an awesome hunt last week in Colorado, but this week it's about killing. So we'll go out to try to get one. So y'all stay tuned for this week's TP Outdoors Adventures. We're behind him, which is good because the wind's kind of blowing down. Right. So we'll see if we can pull one out. Well, it's the first morning of a five day hunt, and the first setup, the elk are not responding. Bill sure hopes this is not a sign of how things are going to be the entire week. After moving to another area, Bill is headed up towards a large herd of elk they had spotted from down in the meadows. Friend and fellow hunters Doug and Casey Wood are also chasing the same herd of elk. Doug and Casey are below the elk and the plan is for Bill to get above and in front of the elk and try to cut them off. Sounds like old Bill is going to be putting a lot more miles on his boots this week. Bill and guide Isaac stop to discuss a plan of attack. Last week there was a lot of elk right up on this bench. That big herd's over there now, but I'll bugle and just see if we get anything to answer. So we're trying to circle around the mountain. Elk on the other side of this big plateau right here. We're going to circle around, get up, wind up, try to cut them off. After walking a couple of miles, Bill is met up with Doug and Casey and the group decides to try to get close to the herd and then split up in hopes of someone getting in close. It'd be blowing up, I'd say, let's go and we'll drop down right in there and sit and call. That way they'll just push them out. I guess it's different right on the bench. Let's just sit for an hour or so and see if it'll change before we bust them out of there. Okay. Now let's move back this way. It changes so much, dude. The group is just a hundred yards above the large herd of over a hundred elk. The elk have stopped and started to bed down for a little while. The wind is wrong, so our hunters have decided to sit back and wait for the air to begin to warm and then rise to carry their scent uphill away from the elk.
Brian Chevrolet is the largest selection of Chevy trucks, cars, and SUVs in the area. Browse over 400 vehicles on our lot, including the family favorite Tahoe and Suburban. Test drive the dependable, long-lasting Silverado with a selection of over 200. And choose from five different special edition Silverados, including the Realtree edition. Visit Ryan Chevrolet in Monroe or search online at ryanautomotive.com. Thanks for making Ryan Chevrolet the number one truck dealer in Northeast Louisiana. You're the first one up in the morning. You're ready for the day, and you've got a lot to do. But sometimes, you need a bigger shovel. For over 17 years, Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental has been keeping the big boys in the big toys. Doesn't matter if you're a hunter, farmer, contractor, or you just like getting dirty, we've got the steel to get the job done right. Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental. Work done right. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust. Earned. Nikon. Doors Superstore, Briard Monroe, Mill Street, West Monroe. After waiting about an hour, the wind has changed. Doug and Casey have circled around one side, and Bill is going to circle around the other way. It's a sure kill. The elk are blocked by steep cliffs above them and a huge open area below them. Hmm, this is almost not even fair to the elk. <laughs> Well, it looks like the elk have outsmarted our hunters again and have headed out to the safety of the open country. I bet they don't try this escape route during rifle season. Boy, there's one big bull out there. Good night. Is he right in the middle of the pack right there? I think he's got a wall in that wall. I just want to get to the edge if I won't come back to it after they get some water and stuff. After watching this herd for about an hour or two with no sign that they're going to return to cover, Bill and Isaac decide to move on in hopes of finding other elk. Later that afternoon, they spot a lone bull headed to a wallow. Now all Bill has to do is sneak in close and have Isaac call, and this bull should be headed home to Louisiana in Bill's truck. After working the bull for some time, all Bill is able to get close enough to is a flock of ducks, and it's not duck season. While heading back to the truck, Bill hears a bull and decides to make one last setup before dark.
Okay guys, so day one of New Mexico's up. It's gotten dark on us. We had a little bit of excitement, nothing close. So one group of 150 elk and uh, they were out dark. We had one bugling out in front of us, but he didn't make it to us in time. So it's always tomorrow. Y'all stay tuned for more TP Outdoors Adventures. Years of outdoor adventures has really done a number on my back. Caleb, I've been fighting with lower back pain for many years, and I think I finally found the answer. It's Chiropractic Health Services in West Monroe. It's Dr. Caleb Death of Tail. Caleb, man, the little procedures that you've done to me has really made a difference in my back. You've got all the state-of-the-art equipment here in West Monroe. You've got the decompression tables, the alignment tools, and I can see a big difference. I'm excited. It's going to be a great hunting season without lower back pain. Y'all check out Chiropractic Health Services in West Monroe. It started raining. We threw everything in the truck. A blast actually went off two feet to my right side. And it broke right at the halfway point. Hey, this has VIP warranty. They just told me to send in the parts. Just they looked at them, evaluated them. They cleaned them up really well and fixed the eye cups. And there we are a week later hunting with a new scope. To Vortex, it is a very important promise. You buy a Vortex Optic and it might be the last one you'll ever have to buy. All headed that away big time now. Day two finds the group of 150 elk have grown to over 200 and they're hanging out in the open flat, which makes for some really tough bow hunting. Come down to that river where you want to be. Yep. Might not be about to leave them suckers alone, let them go up the hill, and then sit on that river, and they're gonna come back down there this afternoon and kill one. If they go up the hill, yeah. Right. It's like an elk migration. Bill decides to leave the big herd alone and return after they bedded down for the day, set up a ground blind down near the river, and wait for him to come out later this afternoon. After moving to another area, when getting gear ready at the truck, a bull bugles just 200 yards away. The guys are headed after him again. After no luck on this group of elk, Bill and videographer Chris Porter are headed to set up a blind and spend the afternoon waiting on the elk to come to them. All right, guys, so we've been chasing an elk for two days now. This is the second afternoon, and it's really hot, really dry. The elk are in huge groups. Like this morning, as you saw, there was 200 in a group, and so it can get close on a group like that, but we haven't been able to break any bulls away. So this afternoon, we decided to set up where the bulls, where all the elk went through this morning. There's a fence, and there's a gate in the fence that's left open, and it's just the cows and the elk have been using this crossing like crazy. So. We set us up a ground blind here, and we're going. We think the elk are on top of this mountain right in front of us. We left them up there this morning, and when they bedded down, hopefully they're going to come down off that mountain, come through this gap, trying to go to a little creek they call a river, but it's a creek right here behind us. And we're going to stick an arrow through one and let the let some air out of it. So, it'll be a long afternoon. It's about three o'clock now. We're going to sit here till dark. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> After about an hour before dark, the elk begin to move out on the flats. Looks like this plan may just work.
After watching several groups of elk circle around behind and bypassing the blind, Bill has decided to try and call and break some elk away from the big herd and maybe over his way. Well, when Bill drew his bow, the limb of the bow hit the blind and spooked the bull. Good plans sometimes just don't work out. Maybe it's just not meant for Bill to kill an elk this year. There's always tomorrow. The next morning, the weather has changed to light rain and cooler. This should help our hunters to be able to get in closer to the bulls. After moving several times trying to get in close to the herd, Bill has finally gotten to within 75 yards and now just needs to wait for one of those bulls to make a mistake. Isaac has taken a stick and breaking limbs and hitting trees to mimic a bull racking the trees. A couple of small bulls are headed their way. It's fixing to be decision time. Do you take a smaller bull and have some of the best meat ever, or do you wait for a bigger bull and take the chance on going home empty-handed? O'Neill's Farm and Garden has bucks stopping in their tracks for the all-new Buck Stop Crunch Deer Feed. Buckstop Crunch is a unique blend of distiller grain, chopped corn, roasted soybeans, and a wild berry flavoring that will drive deer mad. Check it out at O'Neill's Farm and Garden Ruston and TP Outdoors Monroe, West Monroe. Dustin, we play hard, we're tough on our equipment, and we're glad to have Ludwig Brothers Marine as one of our sponsors of TP Outdoors Adventures. Man, we're, we're excited to take care of you guys just like we are of our regular customers. Take care of them and get you back on the water when you need to. You know, that's important. Guys, everybody, whether it's us filming a TV show or the guy that's going fishing, he's just got the weekend to go. He's got to have his equipment and it's got to be working right.
Bill draws his bow as the bull goes behind a bush. The spike elk to his left spooks, which spooks the other bull. Isaac sees the bull spooked and begins to call in hopes of stopping him. Sure, it's going to eat good. Just a nice little old five by five. But it's about the hunt. It's not about the size of the bull always. When they get that close to you. Come on in here, buddy. Can you help with this? Thank you, man. Awesome hunt. We've had an awesome week of hunting. We've had, uh, had several opportunities. But, uh, you know, fish bull wouldn't have come in so close and got me so excited. Everybody now shot him. It's all about the excitement. I got excited, so I had to put it there. Get him out of here. So. Hey. Good job. Good shot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Finally got a good shot. Of Bill and Isaac began to field dress the bull with the herd still screaming just a couple of hundred yards away. After seeing the herd was hanging around, they called Doug and Casey Wood to come over and try to fill their tags for the same herd. After carrying the bull down to a meadow they could drive the truck into, the guys sit back and wait to hear from Doug and Casey in hopes of hearing that they filled their tags. It wasn't long before the big herd appeared in the meadow to give the guys one last show before they headed back to Louisiana. There's two fighting over here. I can bet you that this will light a fire for old Bill to start preparing for next year's elk season. Doug and Casey were not able to fill their tags on the first elk hunt. I bet they will be on many more elk hunts and hope maybe next year they'll be carrying a bull home with them. Thanks for watching TP Outdoors Adventures, brought to you in part by Ryan Chevrolet and Kepper Dirt and Equipment Rental.
Ryan Chevrolet is the largest selection of Chevy trucks, cars, and SUVs in the area. Browse over 400 vehicles on our lot, including the family favorite Tahoe and Suburban. Test drive the dependable, long-lasting Silverado with a selection of over 200 and choose from five different special edition Silverados, including the Realtree edition. Visit Ryan Chevrolet in Monroe or search online at ryanautomotive.com. Thanks for making Ryan Chevrolet the number one truck dealer in Northeast Louisiana.